ML Sports Steak here from Rosie's Corner. Stop on down for the pizza wings, some of the comfort foods like your ziti, lasagna, etc. And you can pop in a chicken Philly order like I did as well. Pizza, wings, fish Friday tomorrow, the mac and cheese available today and tomorrow as well. All at Rosie's Corner, a proud ML Sports Platter sponsor. Interesting Thursday night game tonight in the NFL with the Lions visiting the Packers at Lambeau Field. Both teams are coming off of huge wins last week. The Lions, a complete and utter beatdown of the Atlanta Falcons, a very creative, fun offense under Arthur Smith. Still don't trust Desmond Ritter at quarterback, but you can't ignore B. John Robinson, Kyle Pitts, and other playmakers on that offense. And uh, i tell you what, on the Packers side of things, holy smokes, the comeback against the New Orleans Saints. Jordan Love showing his leadership in the nimble uh, nature in the pocket, throwing the ball in tight spaces when it mattered, coming back, not giving up. That was unbelievable stuff. That was Favre-esque, Rodgers-esque type stuff at Lambeau Field, and they stole one from the New Orleans Saints, who looked like through three quarters they were in complete control. And so it sets us up for tonight, a team in the Lions. Many people picked to win the division because of how they finished last year, 8-2 and two in their final 10. They love Dan Campbell, Jared Goff, very, very good quarterback, and they had a great draft with Jameer Gibbs. They've got Amon Ross, St. Brown, Gibbs, a lot of playmakers. Their offensive line is great. This team can beat you in the trenches through their offensive line, giving Goff time and the playmakers space to go do their thing. On the other side, wow, Aiden Hutchinson, just in his, uh, what, second year out of Michigan, is wrecking shit, as they say, on defense. This guy is an edge rusher for the ages. He's fitting into the T.J. Watt, Nick Bosa, you know, Khalil Mack when he was Khalil Mack, that kind of deal, the Von Miller, you know, sort of edge rusher type who can get after it really, really, really fast. He is absolutely mind-blowing at the skill set and the power and the leverage that he can produce for that Detroit Lions defense. And it starts with him getting after Jordan Love tonight. This is a very difficult game for me to pick. Normally, I would say, well, it's home team. It's Lambeau, tough place to play. Uh, Quarterback-wise, I wouldn't take Love. I would take Gov. I think, obviously, because of the experience factor and all the rest. But I'm actually going to pick the visitors in from Detroit, not just because of Jared Goff, but because of the injuries on the Packers side of things. These games are so hard to predict. I think I'm going to go uh, Lions close in this football game because of defense and because of the Packer injuries. Give me 24 to 20. The Lions win this football game super, super hard without Bakhtiari. You got Jair Alexander and a host of others out. Uh, Christian Watson, the talented number one wide receiver for Green Bay, is a, a game time decision here as well. So is it going to be ground and pound for Green Bay? Detroit load up the box, try to stop it that way. And then, you know, all the pressure there is on Jordan Love. This is going to be a very difficult game for Green Bay to win without those guys but you've got the home fans behind you you've got Lambeau Field you have the confidence of last week you have the wizardry of Matt LaFleur calling uh, plays and you have of course Jordan Love the confidence from last week as well that was a big time game from Jordan Love a confidence boosting game a statement arrival type game for Jordan Love in that situation New Orleans was in complete control and then the Packers came roaring back in that one Let's see what happens tonight. The darlings of the NFC North now without Aaron Rodgers in the division, the Detroit Lions. Many people pick them to win the division. They'll go on the road with that high-flying O with the likes of Goff and Amra, Amra St. Brown. Uh, you've got Jameer Gibbs and others doing their thing. They picked up David Montgomery in the offseason to kind of have that north-south look uh, as, as a runner. And again, winning in the trenches, a physical defense. They obviously play after their head coach in Dan Campbell. And Aiden Hutchinson leading the way for the Detroit. Lions. I'll pick Detroit in a nail biter tonight, 24 to 20. And by the way, I could do without these Thursday night games. I mean, honest to God, we get done with Monday night football. You're sitting there kind of a little bit of a break from the NFL. You can kind of catch up the recaps. You can read. I'm only speaking from my standpoint, working in the industry, covering these games. I almost like more time to kind of prepare for the next week and recap the other one, do some digging. And the next thing you know, you turn around and there's another friggin' game on Thursday night. I'd like the space until Sunday. However, I also do look at it on a Tuesday morning and go, oh, we only have two more days until football. That's nice now, but then it's going to be really hard when it's college football, NFL, NHL starting for me as well. The Ryder Cup is also this weekend. Uh, college basketball starts up again, so I'm going to be hot and heavy with the Bonnies and Syracuse. So when it all comes together, it's really hard to keep things right here and, and, and compact. I'll do my best, but hey, I, I don't know, man. Sometimes I just wish we had a little bit more time during the week to prepare. That's the media side of things. You fan people, I get it. Fantasy and betting and all that 
other bullshit and just pure love of the game, which is kind of where I sit with you as well, where Thursday night rolls around and I get pumped up as well. That's the only one part that's nice of having Thursday night back. Al Michaels, Kirk Curb Street, Amazon Prime, Lions over the Packers tonight, 24 to 20. Should be a terrific game. Get on down here. Speaking of terrific, Rosie's Corner, they've got it all, man. Pizza, wings, pasta, hot and cold subs, and more. Grab a gift card for any occasion. Route 11 in Brewerton, in front of the Brewerton Bridge. As we move through the week, tomorrow is your Fish Friday as well. Right off the Bartell Road exit in Brewerton, in and around Central New York. A great day to grab some Rosies and go hang out by the water as well as we're expecting to get the next 10 days in Central New York. Spectacular weather. 70 to 80 degrees-ish light wind. I love this time of year with the temperature. As I always tell you, enjoy the games.